Jeremy Hassler, with a grown ass kid with another grown ass kid. Kesh, not Keesh. How you doing? Hi, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Now, when I first heard about you, I knew about the fashion, but you also DJ. Yeah. So let me rewind back. Tell me who you are. Um, my name's Kesh. I'm 21. I'm from London. I sound like I'm on a dating program, but I'm not. <laughs> Um, I'm a designer, I DJ as a hobby, you know, every now and then, and yeah, I'm here in New York, just living it up, really. I see, I see people wearing your gear like a, a Kanye West, and people of that age are doing what you do. <laughs> <laughs> and people, and your fans, you got fans. fans so how so do people really. even find out? How do you get even your clothes on celebrities like that? Um, well, Kanye came up to me in a club and was just like, hey, Cash, and I was like, what? And he was just like, I like your work, and... Yeah, I gave him some t-shirts and that's how Kanye, I did a, uh, Kanye got into my stuff. Um, I did a photo shoot with Lupe for a magazine I used to work with and I made him a t-shirt and he liked it and he wore it. So it's all by chance, it's all by fate really. It's all a lot of hard work as well. So I see. work hard kids, work hard. So tell me about the fashion. What is your whole, your whole fashion? Tell me about it. Well, my fashion is obviously last minute. This is a t-shirt I bought in a thrift store for like one dollar. This costs like 50 cents. So. My outfit costs one dollar fifty. Woohoo! <laughs> but see, it's how you do it. That's what it is. It's how you do it, man. It's not about spending hundreds of dollars and stuff. It's about keeping it cheap and sweet. And tell me about your fashion line, like the t-shirts you make. Are you only t-shirts? Do you do more than that? I do more. I was t-shirts for a little while, and then I've moved on to sweaters, hoodies, tracksuits, and a lot more. I'm about to have a fashion show in London Fashion Week. Um, yeah, I have 12 full head-to-toe looks. It's going to be a big thing, so look out for me. Oh, wow. And now talk about the DJing. How did you get into doing all this? I don't know. Someone at a fashion party was like, oh, I want you to DJ. My DJ pulled out, so I was like... Whatever, so I brought some um, CDs down, that's how I do it, CDs, and um, played a few tracks and people seem to love it, so I've just been like DJing as a hobby, I've done a few places, Germany, Russia, New York, I'm about to fly to Chicago and do a gig out there, so, so do whatever you want to do, play CDs at a party and get booked everywhere. So how important is MySpace to your career? My space is very important. Thanks, Tom. I love you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, big up to Tom, my homie. Uh, no, it's good. Like, my space has helped a lot because people from all over the world can see my stuff. I mean, my space didn't make me, but it's it did help quite a lot. Yeah. Now, seeing how you're doing fashion, doing DJing, now are you established? What do you mean by established? You tell me. Well, I'm established to a certain extent. I'm still very underground, you know. I'm not mainstream yet. I'm not on every store, on every street corner. I'm not American Apparel yet, but I don't really want to be. I'm just trying to keep it more exclusive, you know, for the cool kids out there. You know, I don't want everyone wearing this stuff, you know. Just keep it exclusive. And now I see your career from DJing to the fashion, everything you're doing. Who are some people you look up to that you're like, you know, I'm going to have a career similar to that? Um, well, I don't really look up to anyone. I don't have any, I don't have any heroes. I don't have much inspiration that's on my own imagination i'm not being big-headed but see that she got fans that's number two <laughs> thank you so much yeah come in i love her as the girl right there from england to vogue to you see that she gets love and respect for what she does so tell me, what's the future for you? What are you going to work on? Tell me. Um, whatever the hell I want to. Do what you want. That's my thing. Like, if you want to just roll around on the floor and get drunk all day, do it. But that's not me. You know, I like I hard working. It's like clothing is my future. DJ is a hobby. I'm not going to be doing that when I'm 40 years old. I'm just going to be uh, concentrating on the clothing for now. And what advice would you give to all these young kids that go to your MySpace, that hear about you, want to do fashion and DJing with all the cool parties like this? What would you tell them? Believe in yourself, don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. Because so many people told me, oh, you can't do it, oh, you look crazy, um, you know, punched a few people in the face, you know, got a bit angry, but that's not the way to do it. Just keep your cool and they'll come around sooner or later. Whether they like it or not, it doesn't matter what they think, it's about what you think. And it's about what you think, what I think, I think she's dope. She's a grown ass kid, so am I. Check it out. <laughs>